Hey guys, Taylor here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've already been here, thanks for coming back. So in today's video, I'm coming at y'all with my fragrance recommendations for spring. I am going to be sharing with you guys 10 fragrances that are perfect for spring. So if you are interested in seeing them, please keep on watching before we start the video. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time I upload a video. And follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. All right, you guys, so I'm going to start with one of the newest fragrances in my collection, one that I have been waiting to pull out for spring. This is from Kaoli. This is the Eden Sparkling Lychee. As you can see, I don't have a huge dent in this fragrance because to me, this fragrance is going to shine more during spring and summer. It is okay every now and then during the colder months, but for spring and summer, this is a need. I did do a full review on this, so I'm not going to talk too much on this. I will have my review up above so you guys can check it out. But the keynotes for this one is black currant, sparkling lychee, rose damascena, candid violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. This to me is a juicy, sparkling, fizzy kind of lychee fragrance with a little bit of sandalwood and a little bit of rose to kind of balance it out it is a gorgeous fragrance one that i think is perfect for spring and summer if you love fragrances like eden juicy apple or sparkling sugar from clean reserve you are really going to love this one comparing it to eden juicy apple i feel like this is a step up from eden juicy apple it is in the same family but to me eden juicy apple is a little bit more juvenile a little bit more fun and flirty you definitely get that fun flirtiness in this one one step up from eden it is going to be a perfect scent for spring and summer and it also layers really well so if you're looking for something simple this spring go ahead and try this one out from Kayali. Alright you guys so the next one that I have is another one that is very very new to my collection one of the newest to my collection this one was sent to me in PR but y'all when I say this fragrance did not disappoint it did not disappoint at all and this one is a perfect for spring this is the newest from Valentino this is the Donna Born in Roma green strava Ganza. If you are a lover of the original Donna Born in Roma and you don't mind trying a flanker, try this one. When I saw this and I saw the color of the juice, honestly, I was a bit iffy. I thought it was going to smell like grass, too greeny, but y'all, this fragrance is beautiful. If you want to imagine what this fragrance smells like, think of the OG Donna Born in Roma with a added tea note. I do feel like it is still very sweet, just like the OG, but also very light. I think this is a lighter, fresher version of that fragrance with a added tea note. I do feel like it's not too much tea, it's not too much of each note. It is very light, very fresh, very clean take on Donna Born in Roma. I didn't know the Donna Born in Roma flankers could get any better, but this one, you guys, I give it a 10 out of 10. This is one that I'd say go out and smell it. Don't let the color of the juice fool you. It is a really nice fragrance. If you feel like the OG Donna Born in Roma was a little bit too sweet, a little bit too strong for you, you are really going to enjoy this one. It gives the same amazing Donna Born in Roma DNA toned down but it has enough to it to make it its own fragrance. It is a beautiful scent and I do feel like this is going to be perfect to pull out for the spring and summer months. I do feel like this is going to layer really nicely with the OG as well. It's still new to my collection. I'm going to continue to try it and then um, come back and share my thoughts with you guys. But so far, I really do like this fragrance. Okay, you guys, so the next one that I have is one that I've been talking about nonstop ever since I reviewed it. And this one is good for all seasons, but I think it's going to do really well for spring and summer if you want something. If you're a vanilla girl and you want a good vanilla that you can wear for spring and summer, this is the one. This is Burberry Goddess. By now, I know all of you guys own this fragrance. This is absolutely amazing. This has notes of vanilla, lavender, cacao, and ginger in the top. In the middle it has vanilla caviar and in the base it has vanilla absolute even though this has a ton of vanilla notes i feel like it is a very light fragrance it's not a heavy dense cakey kind of vanilla it's a very light sophisticated vanilla another one that i think is a pretty girl vanilla i do feel like the lavender in here is pretty forward it's not too much but you are going to smell the lavender 
I've had this fragrance for a while and it has been sitting for a while so I feel like the juice is a little bit darker I feel like it is starting to get a little bit sweeter even though it is getting a little bit sweeter it's still not a overly sweet fragrance if you want a good everyday vanilla a good signature vanilla I do feel like this is a great one once again not a heavy cakey vanilla just a perfect year-round everyday kind of vanilla by the way you guys I will have all the fragrances that I mentioned in this video linked down below as always in the order that I mentioned each fragrance okay y'all so the next one that I have is another one that I just did a quick review on this is the newest from Kylie Cosmetics this is the cosmic perfume this to me is like a very pretty girl perfume it is a slightly powdery sweet fragrance musky notes for this one in the top you have star jasmine blood orange in the middle you have amber red peony and in the base you have musk vanilla and cedar i feel like the blood orange in here gives it a little bit of sweetness and then you have that nice mellow musky kind of scent a little bit powdery this is the perfect pretty girl everyday kind of perfume one that i feel like is not too strong it is perfect for spring going into summer if you're looking for something to wear to work or something that is just really feminine i do feel like you'd really enjoy this one it is not doing too much it gives you just enough sweetness a perfectly blended fragrance a little bit of everything in here you get a little bit of each note it is a really nice fragrance going into spring and summer this next fragrance that i have is a very very affordable fragrance this one has been around for a really long time i added this to my collection i believe last spring or last summer and this is one that i think is perfect Perfect for spring because it just has that light clean smell to it but also fruity smell to it this is limper trees from Dolce and Gabbana this is a gorgeous watermelon kind of fragrance this honestly even though it is a fresh clean watermelon kind of scent I do feel like it's not for everybody only because it has a note of like rhubarb and I feel like that is very prominent in this fragrance um, you cannot escape that note at all so if you don't like that fragrance note you probably won't like this fragrance this is one even though it is very very cheap i'd say try to smell it before you buy it but it is a gorgeous fragrance the watermelon in here i believe it also has some kiwi some jasmine it is a beautiful fresh fruity kind of scent but like a clean take on fruity freshness that you get from a watermelon that's what this fragrance smells like i loved layering this with either juicy apple from kaoli just to add a little bit more of like a juicy fruity candy sweet kind of touch to this fragrance if you have tried this let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below but this is a great one for spring for every day just a casual fragrance running errand kind of fragrance this one next up is one that i mentioned in my last spring video i will have that video linked up above i try my best not to talk about the same fragrances over and over so if you want more spring fragrance options i will have that video linked up above you will see those fragrances in other videos i'm still loving them but i just don't want to be repetitive but this one i have to talk about again because i fell in love with this fragrance and this is from zerjoff this is Casamarati dama bianca if you know you know this is femininity in a bottle this is that clean girl kind of vanilla this is a very light delicate sophisticated kind of vanilla in the top of this fragrance you have kumquat and lime in the middle you have violet italian iris lilac egyptian jasmine and lily of the valley and then in the base you have vanilla malt musk ambret sandalwood and cedar i feel like the lime in here is not too much the kumquat is not too much to me it's like a balance between um lime lemon orange clementine type of vibe not too citrusy but just enough if that makes sense um the vanilla in here is not too much a very delicate elegant kind of vanilla the floralness in here is also not too much very smooth this is a very well blended fragrance i do feel like this is blind by worthy this is up there with gentle fluidity gold not the same fragrance but in the same family in terms of like feminine fragrances pretty girl kind of fragrance i do feel like gentle fluidity gold leans a 
little bit more floral whereas this leans a little bit more citrusy fresh kind of scent this is beautiful if you liked um atelier cologne vanille incense you'd really love this one i think you know you get that balance of citrus and um vanilla so this one i have to bring it back this year i did get this one from twisted lily if you do want to try this scent you can get samples from twisted lily i will have my code linked down below for you guys this is absolutely amazing and is a 10 out of 10 for spring and summer another one that i think you would really like if you like doma bianca another one that gives you that perfect balance of sweetness with freshness and citrusness one that i haven't talked about in a really long time but it is one of my favorite fragrances for spring this is from ellis brooklyn this is sweet this is one of my favorite fragrances from ellis brooklyn if not my favorite fragrance from this fragrance house this is reasonably priced and it is a clean fragrance house on the top of this fragrance you have pear amber and bergamot in the the middle you have orris violet and heliotrope and in the base you have marshmallow white amber and cashmere the bergamot and the pear blends really well together so it's not too sharp of a citrus fragrance and then you get that marshmallow in there that gives it a little bit of like a fluffiness it is sweet but not too sweet perfect everyday scent the sephora spring savings event is coming up and i do feel like this is a great one if you haven't tried anything from ellis brooklyn let this be the one that you try i've tried other fragrances from the fragrance house and this is the only one that i've loved so far i like others but this one is a 10 out of 10 for spring all right y'all so the next one that i have is another one that is new to my collection as you can see i've been shopping for fragrances this spring this one i literally got yesterday this is the newest misty or parfum this is amazing you guys if there is one miss dior that you need to own this is the one i have another miss dior that i really love but this something about this that is so different from all the other miss diors that i've tried this is the spring miss dior in the top of this one you have mandarin orange apricot and peach in the middle you have wild strawberry floral notes and jasmine and in the base you have patchouli amberwood amber moss and cedar y'all the peach the mandarin orange the apricot the strawberry you get all of that juiciness in this fragrance i do feel like you get that miss dior dna but i do feel like it's not overly floral you do get the jasmine and all the florals in here but it's kind of mellow the star of the show in here is all that peach and the apricot and the strawberry this is so good you guys i highly recommend you go in the store and smell this blind buy it <laughs> I don't want to promote blind buying too much but this is really really good if you love the miss dior dna you'd really like this as i said it's not too much not too much florals y'all know i'm not big on like florals but this is done right you guys this is a flanker worth trying it gets a 10 out of 10 for me i did not even know that they were coming out with a new fragrance um this lady walked past me one day and i smelled her perfume i had to ask her what she was wearing and she was like i went to the counter and they sprayed it all over me and she gave me her test strip i couldn't stop smelling it it smelled so good get this one at a great price because i do have pc optimum if you are in canada and you want to buy fragrances i highly recommend getting a pc optimum card so i went ahead and i redeemed this y'all this smells so good this is a need for spring if you haven't tried this go ahead test it out and let me know what you think but this so far is the best miss dior i've tried and i have others that i love but i think this is the best one i've tried so far all right y'all so i'm almost done i have two more fragrances left the next one that I have is another one that I talked about last year, but I have to bring it back because I don't want y'all to forget about this fragrance. It is another one from Kiali. This is the Yum Pistachio Gelato. If you haven't seen my review, go and check it out. This one is Pistachio Cream Heaven, but it is a very light, creamy kind of pistachio. It's not a heavy, it's not a dense fragrance. The keynotes for this one is Pistachio Gelato, Hazelnut, Sweet Rum, Whipped Cream, Marshmallow, and Cotton Candy. And you get all of that, but not a super heavy, dense kind of marshmallow cotton candy pistachio one that is very light very airy very fluffy i've had this for a while i don't know if it's just me but my juice is a little bit darker this tends to happen with a lot of kelly fragrances i do feel like it smells even better than it did last year this layers really well with a lot of other marshmallow pistachio um, fragrances pistachios 
kind of a thing lately i've been layering this a lot with the pistachio fragrance from bath and body work but if you're looking for a good pistachio something creamy something light airy fresh fluffy to wear this spring go ahead and try this one out from keoli this is a 10 out of 10 this had us in a chokehold last year so i have to bring it back because it's still that good the final fragrance that i have is another one that is very affordable this is turquatic from mac this fragrance has been around for years but Amy Glam put me on to this fragrance she put me on to all the MAC perfumes this is my second one this to me I don't even need to tell you guys the notes y'all this is literally just a clean fresh fragrance with a little off citrus in there this literally smells like crisp clean air crisp clean laundry but not soapy laundry just like fresh I don't know if that makes any sense at all and then a little bit of citrus just to give that crisp cleanness a little bit of flavor if that makes sense it is a gorgeous everyday scent another one that you throw on when you're just chilling you're lounging around going for a walk something simple you don't know what to reach for going to the grocery store this is what you reach for this is spring in a bottle very clean very crisp i picked this one up during the colder months and i cannot wait to layer this for the spring and summer months um the perfect everyday scent if you have tried this let me know your thoughts but if you love a good clean fragrance you'd really enjoy this this also is not a very sharp fragrance it's just so smooth it literally smells like clean crisp air but a very smooth fresh breezes blowing kind of crisp air you guys know i love bubble bath from replica i feel like that can be a little bit too soapy for some people um borderline leaning florally for some people this one is a true breeze blowing as i said before true crisp but clean but not sharp kind of scent it is absolutely amazing if you haven't tried this go ahead and try it out um but it's a 10 out of 10 for me that is everything for this video as always let me know your spring fragrance recommendations in the comment section down below better yet let me know a fragrance that you have on your wish list for the spring i have valaya from perfumes de marley y'all i smelled that fragrance and i instantly fell in love and i also have the fragrances from jackie Ina. so if you did not know jackie Ina forever mood her brand she's coming out with fragrances i'm not sure how much i'll pop pictures on the screen and i'm 100 going to pick them up and once i pick them up i will definitely do a review for you guys but let me know your recommendations down below i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope you guys found it helpful as i said before if you want more spring fragrance recommendations go ahead and check out my previous spring fragrance videos but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.